What's up two-step fans? In this video, we're gonna talk about the differences between Texas two-step and progressive country two-step. We're not gonna talk about some of the other two-steps like nightclub two-step and triple two-step and double two-step, but we're primarily gonna talk about the evolution of two-step and why you might see different basics done in different parts of the country. So, the first version you might see is what we might call a Texas two-step, right? This kind of evolved out of urban cowboy, right? Another version you might see is the more modern progressive two-step. So we'll take a peek at that progressive two-step. But really what we want to do is go back to the history of two-step, which oddly enough is a ballroom dance called Foxtrot. Now we have a full video on the history of two-step. We'll link that up in the corner, but let's walk through a couple of the basics of Foxtrot and then some of the versions of two-step you might see around the country, and then whether or not those are right or wrong, I'll give my opinion, but you gotta wait to the end for my opinion. First things first, we have to understand the basics of Foxtrot. Foxtrot is started with the leader's footwork. I'm gonna be talking primarily leader's footwork, reverse for the followers, going forward for slow, slow, and a quick, quick to the side. So the basic of Foxtrot is slow, slow, quick, quick. Now, in two-step, we primarily start with the quick, quick, not the slow, slow of Foxtrot. So progressive two-step would look like this. Quick, quick, slow, slow, and quick, quick, slow, slow. But I want you to see as the evolution happened why you might see some of the shuffly different versions of two-step. So if we know that Foxtrot starts on the slow, slow, and we step side together for the quick, quick, right? Now, if we started with the quick, quick in Foxtrot, and we went quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, you might get this version of kind of shuffly Texas two-step that you're gonna see in different country bars and in dance halls around the country. So this is what you might see for a Texas two-step. Quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. And really, it's just an evolution of the Foxtrot into the two-step, but progressive two-step officially would be passing our feet on every step. Now this is a little tricky, so this is why you're gonna see yet another evolution of the basic of two-step in country bars and dance halls around. So in progressive two-step, my feet are passing on every step, there's no togethers. Quick, quick, slow, slow, and quick, quick, slow, slow. Now we find as we teach a lot of beginners that sometimes it's difficult to keep the rhythms of the different slows and quicks while I'm walking, which is why you might see this version of a two-step. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, tap, slow, tap. It's basically a way for us to keep the rhythm. So now the question is, which of these is right or wrong? And the, the, the real answer is there's no official answer, because if you're dancing in an area that's dancing very shuffly, quick, quick, slow, slow, and you start moving progressively, that might kind of mess with the culture. But officially, progressive two-step will be passing our feet quick, quick, slow, slow. Now, whether or not we should tap, I think maybe as a beginner, quick, quick, slow, slow with those little taps is okay to help keep the rhythm. But ultimately, you're gonna wanna practice passing your feet to get to the progressive two-step. Now that being said, we did a whole cool video over here on the history of two-step and the evolution. There's some cool footage you wanna watch there. And if you wanna level up your two-step, we did a couple of videos with our current techniques of two-step and why there's no slows in two-step. If you wanna know why there's no slows in two-step, you'll have to watch this video here. And if you want the history of country two-step, you'll watch this video right here.